Now we want to go ahead and add another view controller. We're going to figure out how to display an image on that new view controller. We're also going to figure out how to transition from this current view controller to another view controller completely in our storyboard. So we're not going to have to write any code for this. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the course website and make sure you download the image. I've already gone ahead and done so. So we'll see that this image is now on my desktop here. And I'm gonna go ahead and select my image and I'm gonna drag it into my project. And right now I'm gonna drag it into supporting files and I'm gonna let go. And it's gonna give me some options to add this file. So we're always gonna be selecting copy items into destination group folder if needed. We're also gonna use create groups or any added folders. And we're really gonna make sure that we have add to targets, my first application selected. The this one and this one are very important. The top one here is gonna go ahead and create a deep copy of our image for our project. So it's not gonna to link to this image on the desktop. So if I deleted this image on my desktop, it would still work because I'm gonna actually copy this into my project. Adding this to targets will make my project aware of this image. And if I'm adding a whole bunch of files, it's really nice to create groups for them so that they're nicely organized. So we can go ahead and press finish. And now we've added the image. We're gonna use that in just a minute. So back to our storyboard here, we're gonna go ahead and you can either search for a view controller or you can scroll to the top. It should be the first object in your object library and drag another view controller in. Now with this new view controller, I'm gonna go ahead and add an image view onto it. So we can go ahead and type image view in here and drag it in. And notice that it automatically enlarges the size of our view controller here. We could, we could drag it down and make our image view smaller if we wanted to. Reposition this a little bit. And in just a minute, we'll be adding a navigation controller, which will add a nav bar at the top. So we can kind of preempt that and add, make this image view a little bit smaller. Now, sometimes for some reason, uh, the image doesn't immediately become uh, available to us. So what we can do is we can do what's called a clean. And holding down the command key, the shift key and the K button, we can clean our project. Right now I have my project running, so it's asking me if you want, I wanna stop. We see uh, clean succeeded. And now we can go ahead and select our image view. And with the attributes inspector selected here, there's some other inspectors we're not gonna get into right now. We can use the drop down here on image and see images-2.jpg. Um, available to us. So we can go ahead and select this. And right now it looks pretty ugly. So let's go ahead and change the mode and select aspect fill. And now it's uh, you know much more nicely proportioned. Now if I run my application right now, I'm just going to see this hello world impress me. I'm not going to see this new view controller. So how can I make sure that this new view controller launches? Well, I can go over here and I can grab this white arrow which is the entry point into your project or from your storyboard. And it basically tells your project where to start. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this white arrow over to my new view controller. And we see now that I'm gonna start here and if I run my application, so let's go ahead and do that, we should see my globe up here. Okay, so that's great. But what we wanna be able to do is transition from this view controller to the new view controller. So let's drag our white arrow back and to do this, we're gonna use a navigation controller. So with my view controller selected, and I'm gonna make sure that I have my view controller selected in my scene outline, we're gonna to go to editor, and we're gonna select embed in, and we're gonna choose navigation controller. So we see now this view controller has a nav bar at the top. And we see actually that my label is under my nav bar. So let's go ahead and move all three of these down here so we can select them all and drag them at once. So now we have a little bit more space and we need to figure out a way to transition from this view controller to the next view controller. Well, let's go ahead and add a different type of button. So down at the bottom here, we can go ahead and type button in. We're not just gonna add a regular button. We're gonna choose bar button item. And what this is gonna allow us to do is we can add a button to our nav bar up here. So we can add this to the top here. And in my attributes inspector, I can change the title to next page, press enter or return, and it'll go ahead and add next page. And 
Now I can select my bar button item and confirm that I'm selecting it in my scene outline. And holding down the control key, I'm going to drag to this view controller. So the whole thing is going to light up here. And when I release, it's going to say action seg, and it's going to give me three options here. We're going to be choosing push, which will create another nav bar here, and it'll give me the back button functionality for free. Now, if I chose modal, the whole view controller would take up the entire screen, but we wouldn't be able to go back to our first view controller without having to write some code. And we're not going to get into custom right now. So we're going to go ahead and select push. And we see that it's gone ahead and added a nav bar here. So let's go ahead and run our application. And we should be able to press the next button, next page button. And we see that we get this back button for free, even though it doesn't appear. So we press back and we go back to our first view controller here. So we learned how to add in our own image to, to display that image, as well as how to transition between two different view controllers. The final thing I want to mention here is that we didn't set up a class to manage this new view controller that we added. And even though this is named CC view controller, this, only this view controller is managed by the CC view controller class. So let's prove this to you. I'm going to hold down the Alt key and press on ccviewcontroller.h. And before we were able to control drag from our view objects right into our project. But we see because this new view controller that we added is not managed by ccviewcontroller.h or .m, we're not able to control drag into this. So later on, we'll figure out how to add an additional view controller class in order to manage adding new view controllers to our project. But for right now, we don't need that functionality.